What's up guys, Channel Mac here for Reclimbs TV. Just wanted to pop in and show you guys these new little nano displays that we've got going on at the front desk here. Just set these guys up today, uh, just filled up with water and sand. We're about to throw some rock in there. These are gonna be great little display tanks to give, uh, be a, give us a chance to show people examples of uh, some, some cheaper, more minimalistic displays that you can set up. All these tanks are under like 150 retail with the tank, the light, everything you see here, return pump, stand, that type of thing. Um, we've got a little animated marine tank here with the rounded corners. And we've got a couple of uh, mode aquariums. I think this one is a two and a half gallon. This one's maybe five and a half, probably about seven or eight gallons over here. So everything under 10 gallons, pretty small tanks. And we're just gonna set these up with some live rock and a couple of fish to start off and just kind of see where they go from there. All right, we're gonna go ahead and add some rock to this guy. Obviously a small tank, so won't need a ton of rock. We just grabbed a few little pieces here. Just wanna maybe create a couple of little caves or little areas for fish to hide. We may add like a little goby in here or something, so it'd be nice for him to have somewhere to make a little burrow there under, uh, under the rocks. There's a decent bit of sand in here, about an inch and a half, two inches or so. So that'll give us uh, a nice habitat for any kind of bottom dwelling fish that we want to add. Kind of got one little mini structure there on either side and then we'll just kind of add something bigger on top, try to make sort of a cave type of thing. It's obviously up to you how you guys want to do this. I always say uh, don't put too much pressure on yourself when it comes to the aquascaping. A lot of times you'll set it up, you might like it from the beginning, you might want to make a couple adjustments. Nothing set in stone if you're not gluing it, so just try to find something you like and go from there. Now we're going to do this little mode aquarium, five and a half gallon over here. This is more of a uh, peninsula style tank, as you guys can see here. It's uh, much longer than it is wide, so that obviously creates some different challenges and opportunities when it comes to aquascaping. I actually kind of like that right there already. Gives you two nice ledges. If you wanted to upgrade the lighting and put some corals on there, would create a good spot for some uh, more higher light, high flow corals. While giving you a little bit of shade there on the bottom if you wanted to do some scolies or blastos or something else that prefers being in a little bit more shaded light. Just like that, we have life. Now these tanks were just put up today. Um, added water, sand, a little bit of bacteria, and some rocks. And it used to be a, uh, a thought, which is now kind of a known common misconception, that you had to cycle the tank for all this time before you add fish. Well, if you just got an empty tank with no life in it, there's no cycle going on. There's nothing really happening. Nowadays, we have so many good bottled bacteria options. Most of the sand itself comes with a little packet of bacteria. There's ways that we can really get the tank stabilized so much quicker than you used to be able to in the past. And there's really no waiting period anymore in these days as far as setting up a tank and being able to get life in it right away. You see we got a couple little feather dusters, a couple filter feeding invertebrates there. Just added a couple of fish just to kind of get the, the bio load going. Obviously it's going to take some time for the bacteria to build up and get to the point where the tanks are stable and you're going to see stable parameters. But for now, all of these fish should do just fine in here and uh, within a month or two we can start adding some more life to these tanks. We appreciate you guys watching. Let us know down in the comments what you guys would like to see in here, what you think we should put in these little tanks and what kind of videos you guys would like to see next. We appreciate everybody supporting the channel, liking, subscribing, favoriting the videos. And we will see you on the next one.